else I'm gonna do? Another video. We have here the lines. And you probably can't tell, but these are a bunch of little strips. And we're gonna use them to make a basket weave effect on this already ombre nail which is ombre with just some gel polish colors and then matte top coated you could do that or you can ombre with the air gel i just end up getting the ideal after i had already ombre it so i'm gonna take some of these strips off it's not a big nail so i probably don't need more than four these are, um, I'll put the link to these down below. I'm at it because you really can't stick the strips to a sticky surface. It just ruins your stencil for reuse later. And these are reusable. Like and we're going to do like an ombre basket weave. And I think I'm going to go with black actually only needed three I'm gonna make sure this is just even it kills me when it's like not super even and I'm like what I had time to make it even and I didn't press them down real good and then I'm gonna grab my handpiece and some black or what about navy blue? You can go with navy blue. That'll be a cool color. Cool. We'll go with navy blue. So this is from Aerogel Official. Oops. This is number 156. And it is a navy blue. It's called Paris Blue. We'll grab our gun. We don't need a ton. Just a little bit. Grab our gun. Drop a little in here one two three drops and we're gonna get our dilution liquid and and that and we're gonna mix when we mix we just put our finger over it and blow some air check our spray cool so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shoot from the bottom to the top in a upward and downward motion from side to side okay Keeping it real light. See how light that is? I don't want to flood it. I'm going to go back and hit it one more time. But just softly. Concentrating mostly at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in the light with the stencil. Now typically you do not want to cure these stencils. But for the sake of this design, I will. I'm just going to do 10 seconds to set that color. And then we're going to come in and hit those same gradient lines with another coat. Here we are again. Test my gun. I always like to stir it just a little bit. Cool. Got a good spray. And I'm going to gradient. I want to focus mainly on the bottom because I want that a little bit darker. Boom. Cool. And I'm going to remove those lines. And we're going to pop that in the light. And give it another 10 seconds. I'm going to take a lintless wipe. And for these lines that are there, I'm going to wipe off with a little alcohol. Try to get some of that excess paint off. Just wiping it. Let's grab our item. And we're going to take our lines and lay them back the opposite way so that we can get the basket weave pattern. And I think this way I'll end up using four of them I 
I like to try to make sure the lines are as even as possible. And I feel like it just needs to be one more there, so voila. And I'm gonna go back and do the same thing, soft gradient at the bottom. And I'm gonna pop it in the lamp. I'm gonna set it for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna spray it one more time. Let's make sure this is stirred real good so it's ready to go. It is cool. Back on our holder, and I'm gonna focus mostly at the bottom, going up and down doing the gradient. So not too much, just enough. Oh, since we're done, this is the second spray. We're gonna remove our stencils. That looks cool. And we're gonna pop it in the line and give it a 10 second cure. Actually, we'll go ahead and give it 30 seconds. While we're doing that, I'm gonna clean off the remaining paint from my stencil. I'm gonna clean off everything else that wasn't cured on top. And then we can take these and put them back on our stencil sheet or if you have a stencil book that you use to save your stencils in, you can put them there. I'm gonna add some other design elements to the nail. I'm gonna put these in a stencil book. But you can get stencil books. I mean, they have them everywhere. I wouldn't say everywhere, like craft stores, you know? Especially now because it's Christmas time. Not Christmas time, but shopping time. So, our gradient is all done. That looks really cool. I am going to top coat it with a, you know, I'll do, I want to do some design effects. So, I have a metal gel. I'm going to grab the metal gel. This one is a copper one. I got this from Japan, and it's from a company called Kimager. It's very interesting. It, like, is a metallic gel. That's cool, right? Grab a thin liner brush. We don't need our gun anymore, so I'm gonna get this out the way. I'll clean that in a minute. So grab our thin liner brush and our nail. And I'm just gonna go around. I'm only doing this frame because I think it'll look cool. And I like it. And who doesn't love a frame? The only hard part would be uh, flipping your client's nail around, which of course you cannot do. Doesn't work like that. It's going around. Trying to be mindful not to touch myself. I touched it, but I didn't mess it up. So that's cool. And you don't need a lot, just a thin little bit. Oh, 
pop that in the lamp. Cure that one for 30 seconds. Clean off my brush. And I just wipe it on a paper towel. Close this off. I'm going to grab some pearls. And some stones. Now, when I do like my little fake ones just for um, play, I do not use my real crystals. I use a bin full of like fake ones just because it's going to be on display. It's not like it's going to go, this is going on a clarin or anything. Grab this. I like that one. And I think I just got these online, like uh, AliExpress or one of those, you know, nothing fancy. This. Promise you, as a nail person, you end up purchasing that tons of things. This is some um, stone effects. It's from Aurora or Aurora, whatever. And I am going to put a dollop here. Boom. There. I don't need a lot. I'm going to find the stone, the pearl I want. I'm just going to grab one of the smaller ones. And I'm probably going to anchor it and that, some of this, one of these, grab my crystal cantina. This thing is like awesome. Take my ring, put it in there. Like so. Don't want to take away too much from the gradient. Also, I want this like off the sides. Put this in there. Put this in there. That's literally what I went and got that for. Flip this guy over. Put him in there. And cluster it in. And you put it here. And I'm going to pop it into the light for 30 whole seconds. Put everything back out of me. It just like helps me stay organized if I just put stuff back right when I do it. Just take the time to put it back. You don't save that much time by not putting things back. Believe me. I'm gonna grab this out the light. Okay, we're all done. And we're in a top coat. And then since I put stuff in here. Okay, so if this was on the client, I would put a little builder gel on this ring. Why? To kind of encapsulate it a little bit more. 
and lessen the chance of my client being able to get it out also I will put some on the pearl I will not put it on the stones because I just don't clean off my brush a little bit I'm gonna put it on the metal piece there we go. This top coat. I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and then I'll show you what it looked like. And that's it. Quick nail art. We're all done. Let's see? So pretty. Thanks for joining me. I put the link for the stencils down in the description below. Have a good one.